Hello everyone, this is Movie and Game Lover 98, and today I'll be doing a DVD review on this Thomas and Friends release, the second and final compilation release to come out in the US, and that's called Engine Friends. So yeah, let's get started, and I hope you guys enjoy this review. So basically, here's what the front of the release looks like. The history on Engine Friends, it was only released once in the US on May 15th, 2012, and that was it. So yeah, that was the brief history, now let's get into the actual review. So basically, here's what the front of the release looks like, because you know I bought this copy off of eBay last year in May 2020, because my other one was in terrible shape, which I know I'm going to throw that away because it's in terrible shape. But anyway, let's look at it in the slipcover first. Up here it says Classic Collection, 2 disc sec, just like The Greatest Stories was, the Thomas Friends logo, and the Engine Friends logo in a groovy font. And you got Thomas right here, of course. Season 9 Thomas. And you guys, friends right here. Henry, Gordon, James, Percy, and Emily. Which I wish Toby or Edward was there. But honestly, who cares? Anyway, right here it says 20 of the greatest friendship stories. Anyway, here's the front. Here are the spines. With the oval of Thomas, yeah. And yeah, here's the back cover. Same old thing from the top, Thomas Friends logo, experience the classic adventures that started it all. Your blur about what's on the DVD, and your snapshot of all the friends minus Toby at Tidmouth Sheds. And, oh, there's Edward, he's right there. Hi, Edward. Great to see you, even though you're kicked out of the Steam Team for nowadays. I don't know why. We'll miss the good old times. Anyway... Right here, it says, featuring all-star storytellers Alec Baldwin, George Carlin, and more. Because this is the last DVD to incorporate narrations from Ringo Starr, George Carlin, and Alec Baldwin, but Michael Brandon kept doing the narration. Anyway, the episodes are, well, I'll just say them, who narrates them, but I'll just say the episodes. The episodes are Thomas and Burry's Great Race, the restored version, Trouble in the Shed, and it's the restored version, the American version by Ringo Starr, Safe from Scrap Restored, the American version by Ringo Starr, A New Friend for Thomas Restored, and then Grand Puff and Sleeping Beauty, Make Someone Happy, yes, my favorite episode of Season 5, A Baddie for Harold the Helicopter, but it's actually the US dub, A Baddie for Harold, narrated by Alec Baldwin, Twin Trouble, Edward the Various Flungeon, which I don't know why it's supposed to be Edward the Really's Flungeon, because it's the US version narrated by Alec Baldwin, Rusty Saves the Day, Emily's New Coaches, the first one narrated by Michael Brandon. Yeah, the first time the Michael Brandon version of that episode gets on DVD. But I wish it was Michael and Jealous, but honestly, who cares? Anyway, then you have the last episodes on the first disc are Thomas and the Rainbow, Thomas and the New Engine, and Thomas and the Statue. Now, the second disc we got, these episodes, Fall That Flower, Toby's Afternoon Off, Edward Strikes Out, Hide and Peep, and Emily and the Garbage. Anyway, yeah, that's all the episodes. Now let's look at the bonus features, which are the Sir Tom Matt scrapbook. Yes, this is the version 2 taken from the Henry and the Elephant DVD and the New Friends for Thomas DVD. Picture Puzzle Fun taken from Thomas and the Really Brave Engines. Who Am I Picture Game taken from the Earliers and Percy's Ghostly Trick DVDs. Gordon's Memory Game from Thomas Gets Tricked and Best of Gordon DVDs. And finally, Spot the Difference Game, which strangely... It's actually which island picture is different, taken from Thomas Gets Bumped and James and the Red Balloon DVDs. Anyway, link to the Thomas Friends website, legal copy information down at the bottom, and this release is about 147 minutes long. Because I guess the actual release is just two hours long, just watching the episodes. Anyway, here's the actual release in a... Well, there's the actual DVD. Same thing. Anyway, here are the two discs, disc one and disc two. And look! Whatever is this? It's a Hide and Peep mystery book. This was promoting Blue Mountain Mystery being advertised. Well, it's still out now, but this was just to promote the movie coming out since the narrow gauge engines were making a comeback to the CGI series, and yeah. Yeah, I flipped through pages and all that. Yeah, I'm not going to bother just listing off every page because we all know what it looks like. And yep, books for Blue Mountain Mystery and, and uh, the Mystery Tour. 2012 edition of Dale Thomas. Anyway, right there, advertisement for Thomas and Friends on PBS Kids and Sprout before they got defunct and switched to Nick Jr., but I wish it was still on PBS Kids nowadays. Because Nick Jr., you have to really pay for when you have a cable box in your home. 
I'll fix this later. And yeah, this is a nice compilation release. It's the final one to come out in the US. And yeah, this has a nice compilation of some of the decent episodes. You know, the Toss and Breeze Great Race episode, we all know that. The Trouble in the Shed, Ringo Starr American version, this is the only time we got this on DVD, because it was only on VHS way back in the 90s. And this is the first time we ever got Safe From Scrap and A New Friend for Thomas narrated by Ringo Starr on this release. That was kind of cool. And you know, yes, Make Someone Happy is my favorite episode of Season 5, and... And what was interesting of th that, after the intro was almost over, it had the version from the VHS when the title card saying Alec Baldwin was the narrator. That was interesting, but at least James didn't smack his lips after, you know, after Alec Baldwin said, except for James. And before James says, why should a splendid engine like me take messy cohars instead of coaches? But anyway, yeah, the season six episodes, I'm not going to explain much, but something I'm going to point out here Thomas and the Wiggles, yes. Dora and Angelina Bellarino, no. He told me for, he told me that I forgot to mention in my salty secret DVD review that a bad day for Harold was Harold's first accident. So shout out to you, Thomas and the Wiggles, yes. Dora and Angelina Bellarino, no. I can't believe that was Harold's first accident in a bad day for Harold, or aka bad day for Harold the helicopter. Twin Trouble and Edward the really Splunge, I don't need to explain those either. Rusty saves the day is also great. Emily's new coaches, Michael Brandon's great, and the season nine episodes are decent. And, Thomas the Statue is okay to me, like I said. But let's talk about the ones that haven't gotten on DVD. Let's talk about the new ones. Follow that flower where Thomas tries to take a car flower. He has to shunt it over for James at the wharf, and he's tired of it. He wants to play a fun game of hide-and-seek to prevent that. But he ends up, he made a big mistake by biffing the car too hard, and he needed to get a new car flower so he could start the Harvest Festival Supper. Yeah, to make cakes and bread for the Children's Harvest Festival Supper. Anyway, Toby's afternoon off, where... Toby wants to spend his afternoon off at the farm, but then he realized that helping a friend was much better. Well, that was much more important than helping another... F well, yeah, it was having an afternoon off any day. Yeah, yeah, helping another friend instead of having an afternoon off. Edward strikes out. Yes, we know that's the first introduction of Rocky. Hide and peep. Thomas and Percy play a game of hide and peep while they wait for the cargo to come. And Emily in the garbage is the first appearance of Whiff, the smelly garbage engine. Because it's strange how he appeared in lots of episodes and... And then the movie Misty on Rescue. But then all of a sudden they put his introduction episode on this release. And yeah. I say this is really decent. Yeah. This is a decent compilation of Thomas. It's the very last one to come out in the US. And what's also strange is that during the intro of Thomas and the statue. It has the first clip from the intro of Thomas and the New Engine. Which is strange. I don't know why. But at least they said Thomas the Rainbow and Thomas the Statue's t titles said aloud by Michael Brandon. Because on Thomas the Toy Workshop DVD, I forgot to mention that release, they were not even said aloud. I don't know why. But yeah. Anyways, yeah. I say Engine Friends is recommended to every Thomas fan. I recommend Engine Friends. If you guys don't have Engine Friends, I say give it a try. You'll like all the compilation episodes. You'll like the classic episodes. And this is the last time we'll get to see a model series release come out in the US and this is the last one to feature model series episodes because the rest is just going to primarily be CGI so anyways yeah that's going to be it for this DVD review everyone on Engine Friends if you don't have Engine Friends definitely pick this up if you don't have it so anyways yeah that's going to be it for this DVD review everyone on Engine Friends hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned for more videos coming possibly soon and hopefully that'll have some cool things to talk about yeah, hopefully they'll have some information to show and some fun stuff to show.